Zhejiang, Zhejiang formerly romanized as Chekiang, is an eastern coastal province of China. Zhejiang is bordered by Jiangsu and Shanghai to the north, Anhui to the northwest, Yangshi to the west, and Fujian to the south. To the east is the East China Sea, beyond which lie the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The province's name derives from the Jie River, Jie Zhang Jie Zhang, the former name of the Qiading River which flows past Hangzhou and whose mouth forms Hangzhou Bay. It is usually understood as meaning crooked or bent river from the meaning of Chinese Jie, but is more likely a phono-semantic compound formed from adding shui the water radical used for river names to phonetic j pinyin j but reconstructed old chinese asterisk tet preserving a proto wu name of the local yu similar to yuheng kuiji and zhang topic history topic prehistory Kuahuchao culture was an early Neolithic culture that flourished in the Hangzhou area in 6000 to 5000 BC. Zhejiang was the site of the Neolithic cultures of the Hemudu, starting in 5500 BC, and Liangzhu, starting in 3400 BC. Topic: <laughs> Ancient History. The area of modern Zhejiang was outside the major sphere of influence of the Shang civilization during the second millennium BC. Instead, this area was populated by peoples collectively known as Dongyue and the Uyue. The Kingdom of Yu began to appear in the chronicles and records written during the spring and autumn period. According to the chronicles, the Kingdom of Yu was in northern Zhejiang. Shiji claims that its leaders were descended from the Shang founder Yu the Great. The Song of the Yu Boatman. Chinese, Yu Ren Gi Pinyin, Yu Ren Gi, literally, Song of the Man of Yu, was transliterated into Chinese and recorded by authors in North China or inland China of Hebei and Henan around 528 BC. The song shows that the Yu people spoke a language that was mutually unintelligible with the dialects spoken in North and Inland China. The Sword of Gujian bears bird worm seal script. Yuanu, Chinese, Yu Nu Pinyin, Yuanu, Wade Giles, Yu Nu, literally, the Lady of Yu, was a swordswoman from the state of Yu. To check the growth of the Kingdom of Wu, Chu pursued a policy of strengthening Yu. Under King Gujian, Yu recovered from its early reverses and fully annexed the lands of its rival in 473 BC. The Yu kings then moved their capital center from their original home around Mount Kuaiji in present-day Shaoxing to the former Wu capital at present-day Suzhou. With no southern power to turn against Yu, Chu opposed it directly and, in 333 BC, succeeded in destroying it. Yu's former lands were annexed by the Qin Empire in 222 BC and organized into a commandery named for Kuaiji in Zhejiang but initially headquartered in Wu in Jiangsu. <laughs> Han and the Three Kingdoms Kuaiji Commandary was the initial power base for Shang Liang and Shang Yu's rebellion against the Qin Empire which initially succeeded in restoring the Kingdom of Chu but eventually fell to the Han. Under the later Han, control of the area returned to the settlement below Mount Kuaiji but authority over the Minyu hinterland was nominal at best and its Yu inhabitants largely retained their own political and social structures. At the beginning of the Three Kingdoms era 220 CE, Zhejiang was home to the warlords Yan Baihu and Wang Lang prior to their defeat by Sun Ce and Sun Quan, who eventually established the Kingdom of Wu. Despite the removal of their court from Kuaiji to Jianye present-day Nanjing, and they continued development of the region and benefited from influxes of refugees fleeing the turmoil in northern China. Industrial kilns were established and trade reached as far as Manchuria and Funan South Vietnam. Zhejiang was part of the Wu during the Three Kingdoms. Wu 220, commonly known as Eastern Wu or Sun Wu, had been the economically most developed state among the Three Kingdoms 220 CE. The historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms records that Zhejiang had the best equipped, strong navy force. 
The story depicts how the states of Wei, Wei and Shu, Shu lack of material resources, avoided direct confrontation with the Wu. In armed military conflicts with Wu, the two states relied intensively on tactics of camouflage and deception to steal Wu's military resources including arrows and bows. Six dynasties Despite the continuing prominence of Nanjing then known as Jiangqing, the settlement of Qiading, the former name of Hangzhou, remained one of the three major metropolitan centers in the south to provide major tax revenue to the imperial centers in the north China. The other two centers in the south were Jiangqing and Chengdu. In 589, Qiading was raised in status and renamed Hangzhou. Following the fall of Wu and the turmoil of the Wu-Hu uprising against the Jin dynasty 265-420, most of elite Chinese families had collaborated with the non-Chinese rulers and military conquerors in the north. Some may have lost social privilege, and took refugee in areas south to Yangtze River. Some of the Chinese refugees from north China might have resided in areas near Hangzhou. For example, the clan of Zhu Liang (181–234), a chancellor of the state of Shu Han from Central Plain in North China during the Three Kingdoms period, gathered together at the suburb of Hangzhou, forming an exclusive closed village, Zhu Village Kun, consisting of villagers all with family name Zhu. The village has intentionally isolated itself from the surrounding communities for centuries to this day, and only recently came to be known in public. It suggests that a small number of powerful, elite Chinese refugees from the Central Plain might have taken refugee in south of the Yangtze River. However, considering the mountainous geography and relative lack of agrarian lands in Zhejiang, most of these refugees might have resided in some areas in South China beyond Zhejiang, where fertile agrarian lands and metropolitan resources were available, mainly southern Jiangsu, eastern Fujian, Yangshi, Hunan, Anhui, and provinces where less cohesive, organized regional governments had been in place. Metropolitan areas of Sichuan was another hub for refugees, given that the state of Shu had long been founded and ruled by political and military elites from the Central Plain and North China. Some refugees from the North China might have found residence in South China depending on their social status and military power in the North. The Rump Jin State or the Southern Dynasties vied against some elite Chinese from the Central Plain and south of the Yangtze River. Sui and Tang eras Zhejiang, as the heartland of the Jiangnan Yangtze River Delta, remained the wealthiest area during the Six Dynasties 220 or 222 to 589, Sui, and Tang. After being incorporated into the Sui dynasty, its economic richness was used for the Sui dynasty's ambitions to expand north and south, particularly into Korea and Vietnam. The plan led the Sui dynasty to restore and expand the network which became the Grand Canal of China. The canal regularly transported grains and resources from Zhejiang, through its metropolitan center Hangzhou and its hinterland along both the Jie River and the shores of Hangzhou Bay, and from Suzhou, and thence to the North China Plain. The debacle of the Korean War led to Sui's overthrow by the Tang, who then presided over a centuries-long golden age for the country. Zhejiang was an important economic center of the empire's Jiangnan East Circuit and was considered particularly prosperous. Throughout the Tang Dynasty, the Grand Canal had remained effective, transporting grains and material resources to North China Plain and metropolitan centers of the empire. As the Tang Dynasty disintegrated, Zhejiang constituted most of the territory of the regional kingdom of Wuyue. Wuyue era After the collapse of the Tang dynasty in 907, the entire area of what is now Zhejiang fell under the control of the kingdom Wuyue established by King Qian Lu, who selected Hangzhou a city in the modern-day area of Zhejiang as his kingdom's capital. Despite being under Wuyue rule for a relatively short period of time, Zhejiang underwent a long period of financial and cultural prosperity which continued even after the kingdom fell. After Wuyue was conquered during the reunification of China, many shrines were erected across the former territories of Wuyue, mainly in Zhejiang, where the kings of Wuyue were memorialized, and sometimes, worshipped as being able to dictate weather and agriculture. Many of these shrines, known as, Shrine of the Qian King, or 
Temple to the Qian King still remain today, with the most popularly visited example being that near West Lake in Hangzhou. China's province of Zhejiang during the 940s was also the place of origin of the Hu family Ho in Vietnamese from which the founder of the Ho dynasty who ruled Vietnam, Emperor Ho Kai Li, came from. <laughs> Song era The Song dynasty re-established unity around 960. Under the Song, the prosperity of South China began to overtake that of North China. After the North was lost to the Yurchin Jin dynasty in 1127 following the Jingkong incident, Hangzhou became the capital of the Song dynasty under the name Lin'an, which was renowned for its prosperity and beauty. It was suspected to have been the largest city in the world at the time. From then on, northern Zhejiang and neighboring southern Jiangsu have been synonymous with luxury and opulence in Chinese culture. The Mongol conquest and the establishment of the Yuan dynasty in 1279 ended Hangzhou's political clout, but its economy continued to prosper. The famous traveler Marco Polo visited the city, which he called Kinsei, after the Chinese Jingxi, meaning capital city, claiming it was the finest and noblest city in the world. Greenware ceramics made from Celadon had been made in the area since the 3rd century Jin dynasty, but it returned to prominence particularly in Longchen, during the Southern Song and Yuan. Longchen greenware is characterized by a thick unctuous glaze of a particular bluish-green tint over an otherwise undecorated light gray porcelaneous body that is delicately potted. Yuan Longchen celadons feature a thinner, greener glaze on larger vessels with decoration and shapes derived from Middle Eastern ceramic and metalwares. These were produced in large quantities for the Chinese export trade to Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and during the Ming Europe. By the Ming, however, production was notably deficient in quality. It is in this period that the Longchen kilns declined, to be eventually replaced in popularity and ceramic production by the kilns of Jingdezhen in Yangshi. <laughs> Yuan and Ming eras Zhejiang was finally conquered by the Mongols in the late 13th century who later established the short-lived Yuan dynasty. The Ming dynasty, which drove out the Mongols in 1368, finally established the present-day province of Zhejiang with its borders having little changes since this establishment. As in other coastal provinces, number of fortresses were constructed along the Zhejiang coast during the early Ming to defend the land against pirate incursions. Some of them have been preserved or restored, such as Puchung in the south of the province Kangnan County. Topic: <inaudible> Qing Era. Under the late Ming Dynasty and the Qing Dynasty that followed it, Zhejiang's ports were important centers of international trade. In 1727 the Tamin or idle people of Che Qiang province a Ningpo name still existing, the Yo Hu or music people of Shaanxi province, the Si Min or small people of Qiang Su Jiangsu province, and the Tonka people or egg people of Canton to this day the boat population there, were all freed from their social disabilities, and allowed to count as free men. Che Qiang is another romanization for Zhejiang. The Duomen Chinese, Duo Min Pinyin, Duo Min, Wade Giles, to Min are a caste of outcasts in this province. During the First Opium War, the British Navy defeated eight banners forces at Ningbo and Dingai. Under the terms of the Treaty of Nanking, signed in 1843, Ningbo became one of the five Chinese treaty ports open to virtually unrestricted foreign trade. Much of Zhejiang came under the control of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom during the Taiping Rebellion, which resulted in a considerable loss of life in the northwestern and central parts of the province, sparing the rest of Zhejiang from the disastrous depopulation that occurred. In 1876, Wenzhou became Zhejiang's second treaty port. Zhanghuai Mandarin speakers later came to settle in these depopulated regions of northern Zhejiang. Republican era During the Second Sino-Japanese War, which led into World War II, much of Zhejiang was occupied by Japan and placed under the control of the Japanese puppet state known as the Reorganized National Government of China. 
Following the Doolittle raid, most of the B-25 American crews that came down in China eventually made it to safety with the help of Chinese civilians and soldiers. The Chinese people who helped them, however, paid dearly for sheltering the Americans. The Imperial Japanese Army began the Zhejiang Yangshi campaign to intimidate the Chinese out of helping downed American airmen. The Japanese killed an estimated 250,000 civilians from the area of Hangzhou to Nanchang and also Zhuzhou while searching for Doolittle's men. <laughs> People's Republican era After the People's Republic of China took control of mainland China in 1949, the Republic of China government based in Taiwan continued to control the Dokkan Islands off the coast of Zhejiang until 1955, even establishing a rival Zhejiang provincial government there, creating a situation similar to Fujian province today. During the Cultural Revolution 1966 Zhejiang was in chaos and disunity, and its economy was stagnant, especially during the high tide 1966 of the revolution. The agricultural policy favoring grain production at the expense of industrial and cash crops intensified economic hardships in the province. Mao's self-reliance policy and the reduction in maritime trade cut off the lifelines of the port cities of Ningbo and Wenzhou. While Mao invested heavily in railroads in interior China, no major railroads were built in South Zhejiang, where transportation remained poor. Zhejiang benefited less from central government investment than some other provinces due to its lack of natural resources, a location vulnerable to potential flooding from the sea, and an economic base at the national average. Zhejiang, however, has been an epicenter of capitalist development in China, and has led the nation in the development of a market economy and private enterprises. Northeast Zhejiang, as part of the Yangtze Delta, is flat, more developed, and industrial. Geography Zhejiang consists mostly of hills, which account for about 70% of its total area. Altitudes tend to be the highest to the south and west and the highest peak of the province, Wangmaojian Peak 1,929 meters or 6,329 feet, is located there. Other prominent mountains include Mounts Yandong, Tianmu, Tiantai, and Mogan, which reach altitudes of 700 to 1,500 meters 2,300 to 4,900 feet. Valleys and plains are found along the coastline and rivers. The north of the province lies just south of the Yangtze Delta, and consists of plains around the cities of Hangzhou, Jiaxing, and Huzhou, where the Grand Canal of China enters from the northern border to end at Hangzhou. Another relatively flat area is found along the Ku River around the cities of Kuzhou and Jinhua. Major rivers include the Changtang and O rivers. Most rivers carve out valleys in the highlands, with plenty of rapids and other features associated with such topography. Well-known lakes include the West Lake of Hangzhou and the South Lake of Jiaxing. There are over 3,000 islands along the rugged coastline of Zhejiang. The largest, Joshan Island, is mainland China's third largest island, after Hainan and Changming. There are also many bays, of which Hangzhou Bay is the largest. Zhejiang has a humid subtropical climate with four distinct seasons. Spring starts in March and is rainy with changeable weather. Summer, from June to September is long, hot, rainy, and humid. Fall is generally dry, warm and sunny. Winters are short but cold except in the far south. Average annual temperature is around 15 to 19 degrees Celsius 59 to 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Average January temperature is around 2 to 8 degrees Celsius 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit and average July temperature is around 27 to 30 degrees Celsius 81 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Annual precipitation is about 1,000 to 1,900 mm There is plenty of rainfall in early summer, and by late summer Zhejiang is directly threatened by typhoons forming in the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions Zhejiang is divided into 11 prefecture level divisions, all prefecture level cities including two sub-provincial cities. The 11 prefecture level divisions of Zhejiang are subdivided into 90 county level divisions, 36 districts, 20 county level cities, 33 counties and one autonomous county. 
Those are in turn divided into 1,570 township-level divisions 761 towns, 505 townships, 14 ethnic townships, and 290 subdistricts. Hengdian belongs to Jinhua, which is the largest base of shooting films and TV dramas in China. Hengdian is called, China's Hollywood. Urban areas Politics The politics of Zhejiang is structured in a dual-party government system like all other governing institutions in mainland China. The governor of Zhejiang is the highest-ranking official in the People's Government of Zhejiang. However, in the province's dual-party government governing system, the governor is subordinate to the Zhejiang Communist Party of China CPC Provincial Committee Secretary, colloquially termed the Zhejiang CPC Party Chief. Several political figures who served as Zhejiang's top political office of Communist Party Secretary have played key roles in various events in PRC history. Tan Zhenlin, term 1949-1952, the inaugural party secretary, was one of the leading voices against Mao's Cultural Revolution during the so-called February Countercurrent of 1967. Zhang Hua, term 1956-1968, was the chief justice on the special court in the case against the Gang of Four in 1980. Three provincial party secretaries since the 1990s have gone on to prominence at the national level. They include CPC General Secretary and President Xi Jinping term 2002 -2007, National People's Congress Chairman and former Vice Premier Zhang Dezhong term 1998 -2002, and Zhao Hongzhu term 2007 -2012, the Deputy Secretary of the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, China's top anti-corruption body. Of Zhejiang's 14 party secretaries since 1949, none were native to the province. Zhejiang was home to Chiang Kai-shek and many high-ranking officials in the Kuomintang, who fled to Taiwan in 1949 after losing the Civil War. Economy Zhejiang is one of the richest and most developed provinces in China. As of 2017, its nominal GDP was $767 billion CN 5.18 trillion, about 6.26% of the country's GDP and ranked fourth among province-level administrative units. The province's primary, secondary, and tertiary industries were worth CN 201.70 billion, $29.87 billion, CN 2.2472 trillion, $329.50 billion and CN 2.7279 trillion billion respectively. Its nominal GDP per capita was $13,634 CN and ranked the fifth in the country. The private sector in the province has been playing an increasingly important role in boosting the regional economy since economic reform in 1978. Zhejiang's main manufacturing sectors are electromechanical industries, textiles, chemical industries, food, and construction materials. In recent years, Zhejiang has followed its own development model, dubbed the Zhejiang model which is based on prioritizing and encouraging entrepreneurship, an emphasis on small businesses responsive to the whims of the market, large public investments into infrastructure, and the production of low-cost goods in bulk for both domestic consumption and export. As a result, Zhejiang has made itself one of the richest provinces, and the Zhejiang spirit has become something of a legend within China. However, some economists now worry that this model is not sustainable, in that it is inefficient and places unreasonable demands on raw materials and public utilities, and also a dead end, in that the myriad small businesses in Zhejiang producing cheap goods in bulk are unable to move to more sophisticated or technologically more advanced industries. The economic heart of Zhejiang is moving from North Zhejiang, centered on Hangzhou, southeastward to the region centered on Wenzhou and Taizhou. The per capita disposable income of urbanites in Zhejiang reached 51,261 yuan in 2017, an annual real growth of 8.5%. 
The per capita disposable income of rural residents stood at 24,956 yuan $3 a real growth of 9.2% year-on-year. Traditionally, the province is known as the land of fish and rice. True to its name, rice is the main crop, followed by wheat. North Zhejiang is also a center of aquaculture in China, and the Joshan fishery is the largest fishery in the country. The main cash crops include jute and cotton, and the province also leads the provinces of China in tea production. The renowned Longjing tea is a product of Hangzhou. Zhejiang's towns have been known for handicraft production of goods such as silk, for which it is ranked second among the provinces. Its many market towns connect the cities with the countryside. As of 1832, the province was exporting silk, paper, fans, pencils, wine, dates, tea and golden flowered hams. Ningbo, Wenzhou, Taizhou and Joshan are important commercial ports. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge between Heian County and Cixi, is the longest bridge over a continuous body of sea water in the world. Topic economic and Technological Development Zones Huzhou Economic Development Zone Dingai Industrial Park Hangzhou Economic and Technological Developing Area Hangzhou New and High Tech Industrial Development Zone Hangzhou Export Processing Zone Hangzhou Zhujiang National Tourist Holiday Resort Jiaxing Export Processing Zone Ningbo Economic and Technical Development Zone Ningbo Daxi Island Development Zone Ningbo Free Trade Zone Ningbo Export Processing Zone Kuzhou Industrial Park Shenjia Economic and Technological Development Zone Wenzhou Economic and Technological Development Zone Zhaoshan Economic and Technological Development Zone Zhejiang Kuzhou High Tech Park Zhejiang Joshan Economic Development Zone Zhejiang Donggang Economic Development Zone Economic and Technological Development Concerns Topic. Waste disposal On Thursday, September 15, 2011, more than 500 people from Hongxiao village protested over the large-scale death of fish in a nearby river. Angry protesters stormed the Zhejiang Jinko Solar Company factory compound, overturned eight company vehicles, and destroyed the offices before police came to disperse the crowd. Protests continued on the two following nights with reports of scuffles, officials said. Chen Hongming, a deputy head of Haining's Environmental Protection Bureau, said the factory's waste disposal had failed pollution tests since April. The environmental watchdog had warned the factory, but it had not effectively controlled the pollution, Chen added. <laughs> <laughs> Demographics Han Chinese make up the vast majority of the population, and the largest Han subgroup are the speakers of Wu varieties of Chinese. There are also 400,000 members of ethnic minorities, including approximately 200,000 Xi people and approximately 20,000 Wei Chinese. Jingningxi Autonomous County in Lishui is the only Xi Autonomous County in China. Religion. The predominant religions in Zhejiang are Chinese folk religions, Taoist traditions and Chinese Buddhism. According to surveys conducted in 2007 and 2009, 23.02% of the population believes and is involved in ancestor veneration, while 2.62% of the population identifies as Christian, decreasing from 3.92% in 2004. The reports didn't give figures for other types of religion. 74.36% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in worship of nature deities, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, folk religious sects. As of the mid 2010s, Zhejiang has 34,880 registered folk religious temples greater than 20 sqm, and 10,000 registered places of worship of the five doctrines Buddhism, Taoism, Catholicism, Protestantism, Islam. In mid 2015, the government of Zhejiang recognized folk religion as civil religion, beginning the formal registration of the province's folk religious temples under the aegis of the Provincial Bureau of Folk Faith. Buddhism has an important presence since its arrival in Zhejiang 1,800 years ago, Catholicism arrived 400 years ago in the province and Protestantism 150 years ago. 
Zhejiang is one of the provinces of China with the largest concentrations of Protestants, especially notable in the city of Wenzhou. In 1999 Zhejiang's Protestant population comprised 2.8% of the provincial population, a small percentage but higher than the national average. The rapid development of religions in Zhejiang has driven the local Committee of Ethnic and Religious Affairs to enact policies to rationalize them in 2014, variously named, three remodelings and one demolition." operations or special treatment work on illegally constructed sites of religious and folk religion activities according to the locality these regulations have led to cases of demolition of churches and folk religion temples or the removal of crosses from churches roofs and spires an exemplary case was that of the sanjong church despite english language media focused on christian churches only 2.3% of the buildings affected by the regulations were christian churches most of them were folk religious temples islam arrived 1400 years ago in zhejiang today islam is practiced by a small number of people including virtually all the way chinese living in zhejiang another religion present in the province is shi shamanism practiced by shi ethnic minority Topic media The Zhejiang Radio and Television, Hangzhou Radio and Television Group, Ningbo Radio and Television Group are the local broadcasters in Zhejiang Province. Topic Culture Topic Languages Zhejiang is mountainous and has therefore fostered the development of many distinct local cultures. Linguistically speaking, Zhejiang is extremely diverse. Most inhabitants of Zhejiang speak Wu, but the Wu dialects are very diverse, especially in the south, where one valley may speak a dialect completely unintelligible to the next valley a few kilometers away. Other varieties of Chinese are spoken as well, mostly along the borders. Mandarin and Weizhou dialects are spoken on the border with Anhui, while Min dialects are spoken on the border with Fujian. See Hangzhou dialect, Shaoxing dialect, Ningbo dialect, Wenzhou dialect, Taizhou dialect, Jinhua dialect, and Kuzhou dialect for more information. Throughout history, there have been a series of lingua francas in the area to allow for better communication. The dialects spoken in Hangzhou, Shaoxing, and Ningbo have taken on this role historically. Since the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949, Mandarin, which is not mutually intelligible with any of the local dialects, has been promoted as the standard language of communication throughout China. As a result, most of the population now can, to some degree, speak and comprehend Mandarin and can code switch when necessary. A majority of the population educated since 1978 can speak Mandarin. Urban residents tend to be more fluent in Mandarin than rural people. Nevertheless, a Zhejiang accent is detectable in almost everyone from the area communicating in Mandarin, and the home dialect remains an important part of the everyday lives and cultural identities of most Zhejiang residents. Music. Zhejiang is the home of Yuju, Yuju one of the most prominent forms of Chinese opera. Yuju originated in Shengzhou and is traditionally performed by actresses only, in both male and female roles. Other important opera traditions include Yangju of Ningbo, Xiaoju of Shaoxing, Uju of Wenzhou, Wuju of Jinhua, Taizhou Luantan of Taizhou and Zuji Luantan of Zuji. Topic. Cuisine Longjing tea, also called Dragon Well tea, originating in Hangzhou, is one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious Chinese tea. Hangzhou is also renowned for its silk umbrellas and hand fans. Zhejiang cuisine, itself subdivided into many traditions, including Hangzhou cuisine, is one of the eight great traditions of Chinese cuisine. Place names Since ancient times, North Zhejiang and neighboring South Jiangsu have been famed for their prosperity and opulence, and simply inserting North Zhejiang place names Hangzhou, Jiaxing, etc. into poetry gave an effect of dreaminess, a practice followed by many noted poets. In particular, the fame of Hangzhou as well as Suzhou in neighboring Jiangsu province has led to the popular saying, 
Above there is heaven, below there is Suzhou and Hangzhou. Shang Yu Tian Tang Sha Yu Suhang a saying that continues to be a source of pride for the people of these two still prosperous cities. Tourism Tourist destinations in Zhejiang include Baoguo Temple, one of the oldest intact wooden structures in southern China, 15 kilometres north of Ningbo. Mount Puto, one of the most noted Buddhist mountains in China. Chinese Buddhists associate it with Guan Yin. Qita Temple, Ningbo. Shaoxing, site of the tomb of Yu the Great, Wujun and other waterway towns. The ancient capital of Hangzhou. Mount Tiantai, Tiantai Shan a mountain important to Zen Buddhism. West Lake, in Hangzhou. Yandongshan, a mountainous scenic area near Wenzhou. Qiandao Lake, lit. Thousand Island Lake. Guoqing Temple, founded in the Sui Dynasty, the founding location of Tiantai Buddhism. Mount Mogan, a scenic mountain an hour from Hangzhou with many pre-World War II villas built by foreigners, along with one of Chiang Kai-shek's Kuomintang compounds. Zhejiang Museum of Natural History, in Hangzhou. Sports Professional sports teams based in Zhejiang include China League One Zhejiang Yidang FC Chinese Basketball Association Zhejiang Golden Bulls Bai Rockets in Ningbo Chinese Super League Hangzhou Greentown FC Topic Education Topic Colleges and Universities Zhejiang University Zhejiang Da Shui Hangzhou Zhejiang Sai Tech University Zhejiang Li Gong Da Shui Hangzhou China Academy of Art Zhang Guo Mei Shu Shui Yuan Hangzhou Hangzhou Dianzi University Hangzhou Dian ZKG Da Shui Hangzhou China Jiliang University Zhang Guo Ji Liang Da Shui Hangzhou Hangzhou Normal University Hangzhou Shi Fan Da Shui Hangzhou Ningbo University Ningbo Da Shui Ningbo University of Nottingham Ningbo China Nuo Ding Han Da Shui Ningbo Shao Ku Ningbo Zhejiang A and F University Zhejiang Nong Lin Da Shui Hangzhou Zhejiang University of Technology Zhejiang Gong Yi Da Shui Hangzhou Zhejiang Medical University Zhejiang Normal University Zhejiang Shi Fan Da Shui Jin Hua Zhejiang University of Finance and Economics Zhejiang Kai Jing Da Shui Hang Hangzhou Zhejiang Gongsheng University Zhejiang Gongsheng Da Shui Hangzhou Shaoxing University Shaoxing Wenli Shui Yuan Shaoxing Wenzhou Medical University Wenzhou Yi K Da Shui Wenzhou Wenzhou Teachers College Wenzhou Qin University Shaoxing College of Arts and Science Zhejiang Institute of Education Hangzhou Institute of Electronic Engineering Hangzhou University of Commerce Hangzhou Institute of Financial Managers Topic. See also List of railway stations in Zhejiang <laughs> Notes <laughs>